It's a bitterly cold morning in Berlin, one of my favorite cities in Europe, a city with a fractured past, but an electric present, and a present time off to explore today. I've been here many times before. I love coming back. Not on my own today, though. I've got a couple of familiar faces coming along for the ride. So here are my very special guests for today. Dan, how are you? Good to, <laughs> good to see you. Hello, Dan. Dan. How are you doing, brother? <laughs> This is amazing. You're now so famous by Rugby World Cup sculptor. It's far more famous than you ever were as a rugby player. I had, <laughs> I had to come to Berlin to get some time with you. Yeah, then, you know, um, what can I say? <laughs> That's a great reunion. Great reunion for you two as well. Have you seen each other since the World Cup final? Uh, no, no, maybe not. Oh, obviously, after that, yeah, we FaceTime. And uh, yeah, that's about <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> and that, of course, shows how rugby can cross the generational gap. <laughs> yeah, the dad of the team. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we're in yeah. Berlin. Let's go and do some exploring. It's not too warm, but it's a beautiful city. So let's go and see what we can find in Germany. Perfect. Go. Let's go. <laughs> I've been creating some great memories here with Skulk and Fuff in Berlin on the topic of memory Skulk. Think back to the World Cup last year when you finally signed off, we think, from rugby. <laughs> what was the game like when you, you capped on the side, you led your country at a Rugby World Cup? Uh, Dan, it was unbelievable, but it was quite easy. The boys knew what they wanted to do. Rassi was quite particular, the coaching staff was quite particular what they wanted. And it was just a great experience. I mean, to play in Japan, the kind of culture that the Japanese have, was special. Uh, the whole World Cup was so process driven and uh, it was just a fun, fun place to be. And I suppose all the more cherished for you, given that it was oh, less than a year out, a tournament that you had no thoughts of actually going to. I mean, when Rassi phoned me to uh, to join, I was sipping uh, cocktails in Ibiza with the missus and, and the kids. So that was well. They, <laughs> they weren't having any cocktails, but it was it was good fun. It was uh, the world, well, a dream come true, really. It's, uh, I never thought I would put boots on again, and I was ready to do something totally different. Uh, but luckily, uh, with the permission of uh, Rembo and the powers may be, that, uh, and especially the missus, that I could uh, live my dream. It allowed you to add a, a rich dimension to your rugby legacy. Uh, your legacy, Fuff, also quite multifaceted with a, a great fashion angle. What was the story behind what's now become probably South Africa's most famous swimming costume? <laughs> no story behind it. Uh, we're just uh, playing it every every time we play for the Springboks. I play in the Springbok uh, Speedo. So, um, yeah, and then I just got caught with, with the prints and I uh, went a bit viral. Did you have any idea that might happen? No, no, not at all. Um, we knew he was going to come, but um, I was away getting an x-ray or something and then came in and he was there, so I didn't have, to have a chance to get go for a dress change, but I didn't even think about it. And then, uh, yeah, I saw the photos afterwards and it was pretty funny. But it also looked as though it was just part of the moment. You're all so happy, you're all celebrating, and uh, nothing's minor like a, a prince coming to visit <laughs> you is going to change that. No, no, he's a, he's a great guy and um, I think it was, it was nice to meet him and I think if he he was really comfortable with us and we were comfortable with him. So, um, yeah, we were just in the spirit. I was very happy and vibey and, yeah, and everything everything goes then. So uh, I think we were just in a, in a good good space of mind and, yeah, just a, just a good moment. The, the one thing I'm quite disappointed, he didn't scull his beer. We started oh, singing, yeah. we were ready for him to, <laughs> yeah. to get the beer down his throat, but he yeah. was... Uh, not very key. Well, it was a great moment. It was one I have to thank you for because you inspired me with a, a, a tribute <laughs> yeah, act to the yeah. Bright Drop Players Awards. <laughs> I'll be honest, I think you do carry it off slightly better than I do. <laughs> <laughs> First, uh, first visit to Berlin. What are your overall thoughts, Buff? That was amazing. Uh, lovely city and uh, people are a bit, uh, bit friendly. <laughs> no, that was good. It was a good, good trip and uh, nice to spend time with you guys. Are you keen to come back here? 
I want to stop talking on over beer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cheers, well, guys. It's been a pleasure spending Cheers. time with you. Thanks Cheers. again Cheers. for the Cheers. wonderful Cheers. memories from last year, and here's to some more good memories. Thank you, Dan. Thanks, Dan. Cheers. Cheers.